GoPro Yonu! Hello everyone! Today I bring you game 2 of the legendary match between AlphaGo and Lizador. After watching game 1, Go fans and professional players, me, around the world were still in shock. Many people were thinking, well, maybe AlphaGo just got lucky in first game. China's number one player at the time, Koze, he also shared his thoughts about Lisado's loss in game one. He said, AlphaGo is really strong, but AlphaGo made some mistakes in game one, and that gave me hope that humans still have a chance. Koze wasn't alone, Korean pros like Park Young-hoon, Park Ji-eun, Kang Dong-yoon 9P also expressed their hopes in interviews. They said they wished Lee Sedol would quickly move on from the loss and restore the pride of human players. Some even hoped he would gain momentum and win the rest of the series 4-1 to humble AlphaGo. <laughs> Lee Sedo himself was deeply shocked by the unexpected defeat in Game 1. But right after the Game 1 conference interview, he went straight back to his hotel room and began analyzing AlphaGo's moves with fellow professional players. Preparing for Game 2. And now it's time. While Game 1 was more about Lee Sedo testing AlphaGo, in Game 2, it's AlphaGo that start to test Lisedol. What kind of game we will see? Let's find out together right now. Before we begin, don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. Game 2 is AlphaGo Black, Lisedol White. The winner of this match will receive a prize of $1 million. On top of that, there is a bonus of $20,000 for each game. One. Lee Sedol was aggressive in game 1, but in game 2, he stayed calm and focused more on defense. Now Black's done. What is Joseki? The old Joseki. Black has to play over here and white Tenuki and play other place. But AlphaGo says that that is too old. I'm not gonna play that. I am going to Tenuki and go my way. Huh? You Tenuki, are you sure you're gonna be okay? AlphaGo said okay. So I think if a human player played over here, Lee Sedol might have played somewhere here. Since you didn't play, but AlphaGo Tenuki, so Lee Sedol also didn't go this area. And he played over here. And next move, AlphaGo's next move is first shocking move in this game. Do you remember that move? That move is this peep. What is that? This exchange was considered as bad exchange because you know why? When black approach at A, there is no Aji. So for example, in future when black approach over here, black can go in and take the territory. There is this kind of Aji. So that's why doing this exchange only weak player was doing it but AlphaGo did this so this move means AlphaGo valued using the position from above more than approaching from here and you know this decision also connects with the move AlphaGo will play later so at that time even among professional players opinions were split some said, wow, this is brilliant exchange. But others said, no, that's definitely a bad exchange. But now everyone plays this move. So this move was invented in this game. So let's continue. Attach and Hane. Lee Sedol, Atari and go through. After that, this is Joseki. Lift and Atari. Now AlphaGo's choice. Connecting at A or the side B or C. Where AlphaGo played. Do you remember? AlphaGo played C, which is the blue spot. But what happens if you just immediately move and try to fight? Then why is gonna play jump and jump? So this side is all taken by white. This is not interesting for black. So that's why AlphaGo got this and white got the other side and black protected. So now, between A and B, where Lee Sedol played? 
of course not be because at the time if you play over here you are like a crazy person no one played this move oh probably 30q players played but now everyone plays so this time approached kick and protect take the side and alphago's next move is second shocking move in this game historically lisa doll's divine move you know that that is the most famous one but alphago's next move is also legendary many people would say it is top three most famous moves alphago played it is over here fifth shoulder hit that was a super shocking move i also remember at the time my brain got stopped why this is shocking because fifth shoulder hit why can make territory so easily like this so before that all human was thinking oh that is too big and you gave me so easy territory but alphago says that no that is not big that is small and i got sent there after hane and if i got this black forced white just take territory and black got all influence and take sente so black gained points now black started leading black's winning rate is 74 percent and amazingly i told you this is gonna be connected with something it is connected like this so it's beautifully blocked it's so hard for white to go out now so lisa also didn't take the territory he pushed up and went out towards the center after this exchange alpha played over here after that connect and first real fight started in this game but you know what this is an overplay move alphago's mistake this alphago lee was still an early version of the model and in some specific situations it occasionally made imperfect decisions like now if lee Sedor played well he could've beaten alphago in game two let's see what happens pushed up is good and hane blue spot very good after that now between a and b is time to choose if lisa played well it goes up to 70 percent winning rate so where white should go in this case b no 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 a first a first atari black has to connect after that cut and net black is going to run away no choice black has to do that and atari atari and then atari one more time after they just connect this so you make this black a bunch of grapes it looks so yummy after that you just got honey here so this is terrible for black why got all this territory black is so heavy so now black started crying 98 percent for winning rate for white and 11 points white is winning game is over but the actual game lisa to play this first after the steal this atari is the best one if black connects this and is going to be the same so black is not gonna play at two now black can do this move but still you can just honey this can black cut no that doesn't work because atari after that this atari is good one and then attach after that atari is sent there then you block so atari and you are going to run away but it doesn't work atari boom so this bunch of grapes is in Lee Sedol's stomach. Lee Sedol's dinner time. So when White Hane over here, Black couldn't cut. So he has to play over here. After that, it is going to be like this. So if it's like this, still White is little bit winning. It's a comfortable fight for White. In the actual game, White didn't Atari over here and he just cut. He was thinking, I guess, oh, this is also not bad for me because I can capture their two stones. But that was a uh, wrong judgment. Because after that, this is a good forcing move. Then Black just got sent there and got this move. 
So now Black started winning by two points. So AlphaGo is now leading the game. And White's next move is also important. Lisa Dor played just answered, but this was slack move. Instead of that, White must go into Black's area like this and try to break Black's territory on top. Because when White answered this, Black Hane over here, after that, bang! AlphaGo hammered it in with this move, claiming the entire area. Over here, it's AlphaGo's territory. So Lissador just played over here and tried to attack this Black and Black defense over here. And Lissador just captured over here and trying to do later go into A. But this was also Slack. Instead of that, must come out over here and have to attack this group of black. Because after this capturing, when black defends over here, now look at that. There is no weak group of black. So Lissadr tried to attack over here, but black is not that weak. After that, finally, white invaded, but it's a little late. So now, let's see how AlphaGo keeps control and finishes off this winning game. So how AlphaGo runs to keep its control. So after this, just go down. And when Y run away, just capture. So now AlphaGo is winning quite a lot, which is more than 6 points and 98 winning rate. Which means it's a little hard for Lissador to win this game. And there is beautiful AlphaGo's endgame move. I'm going to show you. So just come out. After that, just protect everything. And, you know, look at this center's white part. That is still not so perfect. And this one, okay, just give to white. And then just protect it. So this move means, oh, I know already I won by a lot. So, so I just, let you just go back and take some territory. Look at that. With that move, over here is dead. And continuously, Lissador is trying to do some end game. But yeah, over here. Over here, after answered, then just connect it. And AlphaGo calmly just jump over here. After that, connect over here, then attach over here. So what's happening? Boom. White has to connect this. After that, pinch, then cut. So look at that. Wow, that AlphaGo's kingdom was made inside its two hues. So now, Black's winning rate is 99% and 10 points Black is winning. So in the end, Lee Sedol just rejoined this game. With this win, AlphaGo takes game 2 and now leads the match 2-0. Today's victory proves that game 1 wasn't just luck. AlphaGo truly won by skill. Now all eyes are on game 3. Let's see what kind of strategy Lee Sedol will bring to the board. I hope you enjoyed this game review and I'll see you next time. Annyeong!